Hi there! Welcome to the let's play of Gothic! Oops! I'm Baron! And this game was made by Piranha Bytes. So let's start a new game and watch the intro. The kingdom of Murtana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. The war against the orcs took its toll and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. Way to go, buddy. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. He did not know, but he would change everything. In the name of King Robar II, Bearer of the Scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop! Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare you? Keep silent. Right. Send him in. Look for me, there's a point. Welcome to the colony. That's enough. Leave him alone. And now, scram. Get up. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? So, being an RPG, of course, we have to make some decisions in this game. You know, which direction we should join, or whether to betray someone's trust or not. But you never make an important decision uh, in dialogue, so it's always a good thing to use all the dialogue options that you have here. So we will start at the top and work our way down to the bottom. Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the King. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The old camp is the biggest, 
and it was the first. How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch, because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. So, Bullet is the guy's name. I will remember that. Where's Bullet now? He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there. But if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. And that concludes our first conversation. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. And we start with chapter one. Welcome to the colony. So, Diego now goes back to the old camp and we will follow him shortly, but not without, you know, exploring the exchange place here. So, what else do we find? A beer. Beer, 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 diddly beer, beer, beer. So, now I think we should save. So, this is our inventory. We don't have any weapons yet, we don't have no armor, no magic, no artifacts. We have some food, beer. Uh, no potions, we have a writing. A letter to the magicians of fire, the seal must not be opened. Must it? Of course you could read the letter. Venerable Master, your last missive was received with great anxiety. We have conferred upon the matter and are sending you our reply in this letter. The Brotherhood is dangerous. It endangers the further success of our trade agreement, which in turn endangers the King, the entirety of the realm and your own life. Therefore you should dispatch scouts to determine what gods and what knowledge their magic powers are derived from. Once you have discovered this, we will inform the priests of your, f of your findings in the hope of putting an end to the whole affair through combined efforts. At this very moment, the scholars are studying the ancient books. We will report our findings to you at once using the usual means of communications. May Inners protect us all. But I guess the mages won't be too happy if they received uh, the opened letter. So we have some miscellaneous items, a torch and an ore nugget. Ore is the currency in the colony here. And that's pretty much it. Um, this is some sort of the status screen. We see our stats here, we are, didn't join a guild, we are on level 0, not even level 1, level 0. We have 0 experience points, we need 500 experience points to go to the next level. And we don't have any skill points. Whenever you reach a new level, you get 10 skill points that you can spend. Uh, you could, you know, increase your, your attributes for instance. We have strength and dexterity of 10, mana of 5 and 40 life points. We have no protection whatsoever. You raise your protections, for instance, by wearing armor. 
or you know magical amulets and rings and stuff like that we have no fighting skills we have no thieving skills we have no magic and no special skills so we pretty much suck at this point and it's a quarter past nine on the first day we have one current mission we have to gain admission to the old camp to be allowed to join Gomez people in the old camp I need to see Thoros and we didn't complete any missions we did fail any missions and we have no general info and see that blue lightning here that tells us uh, that we are close to the barrier and if you choose to ignore that boom you're dead so yeah heed that warning later in the game uh, we will have much more hit points and we will be able to survive a lightning bolt like that but the lightning bolt will always push us back into the colony so we will never be able to walk through the barrier this is not the way to get out of here so you can also climb like that and jump and see there are two guys if a guy has a name Ori you should talk to him if he doesn't have a name it's just a generic NPC like in all RPGs what are you doing here making sure no one gets near the exchange place especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp you're the new guy they chucked in today right that's me then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp I work for the old camp, same as the others you saw at the exchange place. I assume you've talked to Diego. Yes, we did. And, you know, whenever a guy is wearing red armor, you know he's from the old camp. Yes, I have. Good. Then you know what's what around here. Why do I have to watch out for the guys from the new camp? Compared to the new camp, the old camp's a quiet, peaceful sort of place. The new camp doesn't get any deliveries from the outside world. Most of the rogues there just steal whatever they need. And the old camp? The ore barons have everything under control. Next in line to them are the guards, followed by the shadows. The diggers are the lowest. Everyone who arrives here starts out as a digger. If you want to become something better than that, you'll have to get accepted as a shadow first. That guy is a god, uh, you can tell by his armor. When I was washed ashore, one of the guys punched me in the face. They do that to all the newcomers. They call it Standing Godfather. Oh, are all the guys like that in the old camp? We do have a few suckers, but they won't touch you as long as you pay them protection money. I saw a woman being sent down with the goods. Yeah. The ore barons get everything they want. Do you mean to say the king exchanges women for ore? They're convicted criminals too, of course. But if Gomez hadn't asked for them, they'd be sitting in some dungeon or other. I'm not sure what's worse. So yes, the colony is a man's world because only men are sentenced to work in the mines. So there are just very few women in the colony and most of them are for pleasure purposes. If you catch my drift. I'm looking for a weapon. There should be some old weapons by the derelict mine further down the canyon. But don't go and start a war with nothing but a rusty pickaxe for a weapon. Those things are slow and heavy. An inexperienced fighter should never use one of them unless it's an emergency. Emergency. You'd better make sure you reach the old camp in one piece. I have every intention, my friends. Let's use the ladder. So, and you should always pick up things. For instance, we found some berries here that is considered to be food. Blueberries, they give us back 10 HP. And that here is, um, what, a meat bug? Yeah, but uh, since we don't have a weapon uh, yeah, okay I can't kill it with my bare hands but you know it's a bitch let's try and get a weapon uh, some more blueberries 
tumbler, and here's a chest, we can actually open it. But most of the chests are locked, this one though isn't. We find a lockpick, another torch, some arrows, coins, but coins are actually useless in this game, because all nuggets are the currency in here. And some more beer. Beer, 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 tiddly, beer, 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 no, that was a different game. And here we find our pickaxe, a first weapon. Um, so if you take a look at our inventory, uh, here we see we have a pickaxe. It requires a strength of 7, we have 10, so it's okay. And, no wait, it has a damage of 7 and requires a strength of 5 and it's a two-handed weapon. And we can equip it, and uh, it looks like that. See? I wonder though, how does this, the pickaxe stay to the back, uh, you know, of the nameless one? You never get to know his name in the game. Uh, it's, there's no real connection. Must be magic. So, pick up the other berries too. You need all the healing items you can get. Now I'll use um, the pickaxe on that meat bug here. Yeah, it tunneled me. Boom, dead. Oh yeah, and you get uh, meat bug meat, uh, bug meat, so to say. It gives you back four hit hit points, but somehow it's not considered to be food, but a miscellaneous item. Don't ask me why. So before we go down here, we explore the surroundings. For instance, here we have a mole rat. A juvenile one. And it's dead. And you get uh, raw meat from it, see? That would give us back 10 HP. And what do we have here? Another ore nugget? And I, it looks like the sword was the cause of death, death for that guy here. Oh yeah, you can zoom in and zoom out by using the mouse wheel. I'll try to, to stay at a medium range. So now we have a second weapon. And see, if a weapon is better, it's on top of your, your weapon list. See, the rusty sword does a damage of 10, while the pickaxe only does a damage of 7, so the rusty sword is on top of it. We will equip that now. Oh, what's that? Rice schnapps. Schnapps? Is, is schnapps an English word? I didn't know that. Schnapps is a German word. Uh, everything is schnapps that is like a very strong alcohol, like, I don't know, brandy, whiskey, all that stuff, bourbon, that's considered to be schnapps in German. Yeah, I didn't know it was an English word too. Oh yeah, what, what do we get here? There's another chest. Oh, and I see another pickaxe there. But here we get a few arrows, some coins, and more beer. So now we have two pickaxes. Wait, is there something else? Yes, a torch. So we can climb up here. Oh, hi sun. And climb up here. And now that scavenger is annoyed. Hey! And the scavenger is dead. There's another one, we're going to kill it too. Gotcha! You get 40 XP for killing a scavenger. And here we can actually see the old camp. This is where... Um, Diego wants us to be, and we're going to go there, but not right now, see, it's, the area is actually quite large, we have forests and a nice river, and there's a, you know, a fog of war is somehow limiting our view, but the colony is quite big actually. So this is going to be quite a long LP. I've played this game quite often actually back in the day, oh, mole rats. Uh, let's try to trigger one of them only. No, uh, one would be enough. Thank you. 
Yeah, I've played it quite often, maybe, ah, I don't know, 10 times? But it's been quite a while. I think I didn't play it the last 5 years or something. Because on my last PC had a graphic card that couldn't display the inventory probably. So it was not so much fun to play the ouch, play the game anymore. Now I got a new computer with a different graphic card and now I can play the game again. And it's even powerful enough to let me record, you know, a video while still playing at a decent frame rate. So we got a club. Uh, but see, a club is very shitty. 5-5. Five, five. Mm, no. We have a better weapon. And yeah, now since that I have a, a newer computer, I can also play newer games. I already bought the Ultimate Edition of a Dragon Age Origins. Wait, there's a goblin. Ooh, that's going to be tough. I will save. I already bought, you know, um, the Dragon Age Origins and I, I'm already playing it. it. Seems to be a very fun game. And yeah, if I, if I enjoy it very much, maybe I will do a let's play of that. At some point in the future. But Gothic is going to be a long LP, so... I don't know how long that is going to be. Don't let him hit you, he's fucking strong. With his club. Okay. Yeah. In two hits and you would be dead, so... Hmm? Hit the goblin first. So that's pretty much all we can do up here. And we got some experience. Now we have 280 experience points. Rather nice. And we need 5 hit points. But it would be a waste to eat a berry or uh, some meat because that would give us 10 HP. So I will wait a bit. Boom. Okay. Now we will go down that path here. But Gothic is a game where it's very useful to explore the surroundings, like like in almost every RPG. But Gothic is very much uh, like an open world game. There are boundaries in this game, but those boundaries are, you know, monsters that you can't defeat. So every now and then you will come across some critters that are much too strong for you. You can't defeat them. That's why when you know, okay. You shouldn't be here and you should turn around. And I always wonder, how does a skeleton keep hanging here? I mean, there are no uh, muscles and sinews to hold the bones together. What's keeping it hanging there? And we have an old sword. And see, it's on top of the rusty sword, so it's better. It has a damage of 10 and requires a strength of uh, a damage of 12 and requires a strength of 10. So we are going to use that now, and we are going to kill that scavenger here. Dead. So what do we get? Another club and some more arrows. That all? Looks like it. Yeah, he's holding the stick, uh, the sword like a stick. That will change once we have some, uh, you know, knowledge in sword fight. See, you could have a one-handed sword, a two-handed sword. Um, if you increase your one-handed one-handed sword skill, he will attack much faster, and hold the sword differently. Wait, was there something? No, there was nothing. And here are some herbs. Orc leaf and Seraphis. That also uh, gives you back HP. So gather all the stuff that you can. Some more blueberries. Oh, see, there are some scavengers. I want to kill them. But it would be very good to trigger only one scavenger. Because fighting two at that point would be very stupid. Come on. Get annoyed. I 
missed him. And now his friend. Ow. He actually came through. Okay, so now I can eat something. Of course you can also swim, see? And see there is a crack in the rock here in the boulder. So if we would actually dive, we could dive through that crack. And the yellow bar is your oxygen. And now we are inside that boulder, but there's nothing actually here. But it would be a cool place to hide things. And we can leave the water here again, near the bridge. Get out your salt, because here is a scavenger and we have to kill him quickly no ah he got the XP let me pass quiet sucker yeah he got the XP stupid bridge guard I ugh, because I missed two hits this annoys me that was my XP I needed it See, we could have been on level one already, but no, that sucker had. To <sighs> okay, so here are two other guys. Hey, you, what do you want? I want to warn you if you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. Hunting ground. He has some draw, man. What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them. Once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? Yep. There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Where can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. Yep, if a guy is wearing red armor, he's from the old camp. If he's wearing blue armor like him, he's from the new camp. Easy to distinguish. Tell me more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here and most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the first orc war. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins, or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint, don't go into the forest. So, could I stay at the beach? Hmm. Where do I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. Why? Doesn't he sell the maps? If you get enough ore to pay for them. Oh yeah, the bring me a map back thingy isn't a quest. So even if you have like two maps and you come back to him, he doesn't take it. Thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's gonna be so friendly, kid. There may yeah. not be much in a newcomer's pockets, but 
but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. I'll keep and, it in mind. And I even have two pickaxes. Keep that in mind. Okay, how about you, man? What do you know about hunting? You're hunting, aren't you? Looks like it. What do you want? Do you have some hints for the hunt? I could teach you a few things, but everything has its price. Which would be how much? A good gulp of beer will do to start with. Then we'll see. Okay. Here you are. Take a beer and tell me about hunting. Good thing we found some beer. Beer, 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 diddly, beer, beer, beer. Scavengers. That's what we call the big birds. Should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the pack. If you come too close, they'll become irritated. After a while, they'll storm in your direction. At this point, you should be waiting for them with a raised weapon. If you manage to strike the beast before it hits you, you have to keep fighting. Then you'll be able to defeat the creature without being hurt yourself. If it hits you first, well, just don't let him. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer. If you know how, you can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin. It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. Yes, and you could learn how to skin reptiles, remove claws, remove fur, or remove teeth. It would, kill, it would cost us one skill point each, and 300 ore in total. So we don't have the skill points and we don't have to ore. But it's a very good thing to do that, because you can sell, you know, I mean, four skill points ain't really much. And you can sell the items that you get, and you get the 300 ore nuggets back in no time, so it's a very good thing to get that. You're demanding a lot for your advice. Possibly, but you can earn a lot of ore with this knowledge. All the animals you kill without knowing how to cut them up will just rot away. That's a wasted opportunity of skinning them and selling the fur at a high price. If I were you, I'd try to gain this knowledge as soon as possible. Don't worry, I will. Okay, so we should save now, because see there are some scavengers here, and we could try to kill them, but uh, it probably won't work, because those guys will interfere. They will take their bows and they will snipe the little scavengers with their bows, and I won't get the experience. Level up, yay! See? Ah. Uh. No, I think I only got 40. Yep. So they got the XP and I get the loot. But okay, at least level 2 now. And of course, here in the back there are more scavengers. But sadly, they are not the juvenile ones, that is the grown up version. And the grown-up version is much more difficult to defeat, as I will show you now. Oh. See? Oh well. The Orcleaf would give us back 26 HP. Nope. That would give us back 14. Oh, we could have done it. No, oh, I miscalculated. Doesn't matter. Only one, please. Something like that. Yep, 25. 
That would be okay. Next. This time I'll come from above. Death from above. Oh. Oh, you're too close actually. Why is that? Are you no way. Okay, so I have to come from below. close but I, I killed him without getting hit that's very good actually at that stage of the game and we have a little mole rat right here And some Zerophis. So, what else do we get? More Zerophis and um, Hell Mushrooms. Hell Mushrooms give you back 6 HP. Now the guy from the bridge approaches, but then he changes his mind. And it's a good thing, because this is a hey, attack. This is none of his business. See? And now they go. Oh, he killed the fly. Okay, that's good. Because flies are too tough for me now. They would kill me with two attacks and yeah. I need some armor and more HP or a better sword or some skill or something like that. If I want to... Uh, how much do I need? 14 actually. If I want to defeat a blood fly. But the good thing is we still can loot it. So we get some wings. What do you have to say, Bridge God? What are you doing here? What's it look like? Regarding the bridge, of course. We make sure that no beasts cross the bridge. What if the beast can swim? Have you got any advice for me? Yeah, don't go in the forest on your own. Unless you're strong enough to fight off all the beasts. Make sure you get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. <laughs> ha ha. Very funny. Hi, I'm new here. How nice for you. Is that the old camp over there? No, that's the new camp. The old camp is underneath the bridge. Everybody think he's a funny comedian. Okay, let's ignore those guys. We are not tough enough to kill them anyway. And some more beer. Beer, 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 diddly beer. You should play the Bard's Tale, the remake from, I don't know, 2005 or something. It's a very, very good, very funny game. It has a great sense of humor. So let's kill that scavenger here. Ah, stupid, I was too far away. Oh, two times? No. You gotta be kidding me. What was that? No, this is my last save? Damn you. I should save more often. Come here. No, I... 
very pissed. Next. I want only one of you. again next okay Sorry, I have to go through that again. I should have sa saved more. Of and I will save now because I do learn from my mistakes. Okay, there was this nice little mole rat here that we killed before and that we are going to kill again. See? Hey, why don't you take it? And the mushrooms again. Yeah, I can use 6 HP. Next. Let go. Hey, without getting hit. It is possible, you know. Just difficult. So this time I don't talk to you because we already had that conversation and it was not too pleasant. And save. Next try. Uh, off to a very good start, hmm? Yeah, but this time it looked better. There are some mole rats. Yep, come and attack me. I have to lure him away from his friends. Hit, whatever. How about you? Come on, I know you want it. Supposed to A hey, attack? Sucker. What the fuck? I left the fighting distance. Okay. But that did work. So, what do we find in that cave? Oh, just a few mushrooms. I need a lot of HP now.
Wait, ouch, there's a tree in my way. So this is the old camp here, but before we enter that, we will just, you know, explore the surroundings a bit more. It's always good to know about the surroundings of the area before you enter it. Hey! No! Sometimes they attack in a row. That's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, what's that? Stone root. What does it do? Oh yeah, it gives us 25 mana points back. Oh, I forgot something. That no, doesn't matter. Uh, next to the to those guys from the new camp. And oh, there's another scavenger. And those three scavengers, there were some seeds that would give us back five mana points. Um, yeah, but I will show them later to you. Because we have to return to those guys if we, are w we want to learn um, our um, uh, hunting techniques, you know, skinning stuff and s um, getting teeth and getting claws. So. And there are two more guards standing here. You better not stay here. The orc land starts behind that barricade. Is it dangerous? Let me put it like this. You may as well give me all your ore before you go out there and let the orcs rip you to ribbons. Uh, I think it might be best if I just turn back. Yeah, I think it might be best if I just turn back. Pity. I'd have loved to take care of your ore. Yeah, no, don't do that. There are orcs behind that barricade, and we are way too underleveled to, and way too ill-equipped to fight them. So we go down here. Oh wait, orc leaf, take it. I could save again, just in case. And move it. There is a scavenger. A dead one. And we find some seraphies and some more berries, probably. Yep. Oh, and there's a skeleton with a sword, an old one. Well, you have that. And those reptiles, razors, or well, those little dinosaurs. Get the fuck away. They are way too strong. They will kill us. Move it. I hope I got rid of them. Yep, I lost them. That was actually kind of close. And there's a goblin. I will not tackle him right now. We'll kill him later. Apple. Yeah, apple a day keeps the doctor away. As they say. And since that there are no doctors in the colony, we should eat lots of apples. And there's another... Um, uh, two more meat bugs. But they are too close to the goblin. I will not fight the goblin like this. First I go in here. We will talk to that guy later. That's Cavalo, my old buddy. He doesn't mind that we take his stuff. We get his key and some teeth and wolf skin and torch, some more beer and a big club. And now we kill those more. <laughs> You're not supposed to leave fighting distance, you stupid mole rat. But you do it anyway. It's 
some more healing herbs and since we have the key we can open that door and what do we find another torch in the chest see the chest is locked but left right opens it and we get a fireball scroll it's the first spell but if we use it the scroll will be gone and some arrows some all nuggets, a crude sword, but we would need a strength of 20 to actually use that. We don't have that, so we can't use it. But we can use the withered axe because it only requires a strength of 7. And here is another chest a uh, skin of a shadow beast, torch, beer, and another pick lock. And some more beer and a sleep spell. It's a scroll, so it means we would lose it if we used it. But still, it can be useful. Some more arrows and a short bow. Now we have a bow, it's a very good thing to have. So first of all, we will we can't equip uh, the crude sword because we, uh, we are short of 10 strength points to use this item. Don't tell. So we will use the withered axe and we will equip the short bow and now we can actually kill the goblins with the bow no that's stupid I'm not supposed to fight two at the same time That's weird. No, no, I don't want that. And uh, no, because now Cavalon was attacking them. What the fuck? That didn't happen the last time I played it. Let's try it from this side. So, Mr. Goblin. No! What? How did you get out of my focus? Nah, I don't believe it. Again. Oh, no, I'm too far away. Still too far away. Okay. Works better. So we get a rusty sword and nothing. They don't have anything. But now we can also kill the meal box, meat box. Yeah, the T looks like an L. And since they provide a meal of some sort, hmm. but in German it's called flesh once so meat box is the right uh, translation. We get a mine crawler soup and some wine. The club. It's pretty much all here. So now, oh wait, what's that? Jug and uh, more ice schnapps. So let's talk to Kavalon. What are you doing out here? I'm a hunter. Above all, I hunt scavengers. Yep, uh, he's also from the old camp, as you can tell by his uh, armor. He's a shadow. Where will I get a bow? Here, I sell the best bows in the old camp. Thanks, we well, already have one. Can you teach me something about hunting? That depends. What do you want to know? So y you could learn sneaking here, it would cost us 10 skill points, or you can get a bow level. To the first bow level, that will also cost you 10 skill points. I don't want to do that now. And you could trade. Show me your goods. So we can sell some items now. First of all, we will sell all the weapons that we don't need. 
because weapons don't break, you really need a spare weapon here, so we can sell the old swords. I will keep one pickaxe though. Um, I will not sell the spells. I won't sell the food. What else do we have here? I don't need the tumbler or the teeth or the wolf skin. See, the skin of the shadow beast has a value of 100, but he only gives us 50. And I will sell him back as Jack. So that's 167. I uh, first of all I will buy some um, bows, uh, some arrows. And then I will buy some all nuggets. 167 equals 167, so we accept. Thank you. So now we should return. I always already come down here. It, oh wait, there's a there's a mushroom up here. I already always come down here to get a bow for free, the short bow. Hell mushroom, thank you. So how much many experience must we have? Oh, see, almost uh, at the second level now. Awesome. Oh, there is it? There's a cave. What do we find in here? Probably a, a mole rat. Do actually? Can I find one of you? Only one. Yep. Okay. You. You're right. Come and attack me. Don't bring your friend. Just come alone. Thank you, that should suffice. Level up and we kill you too. If we can get a hit in here, that is. Thank you. Yeah. I wanted to kill them quickly before the guard before the guards arrive and take my XP. I don't like to share my XP or give it away. It's not even sharing, it's giving away. Oh, we should save just in case we screw things screw things up here. With those scavengers. But since we have the axe now, it should be possible to kill the scavengers without much fuss if I'm not too stupid that is yup now it only takes three hits for a scavenger to go down Tag. Hmm. Okay, this time I was stupid. And a hell mushroom. Thank you. Next. Hey, wait, wait, you attack kind of fast. Don't you have to like uh, scream three times? Oh, see, it's getting dark. What time is it? Oh, no, that's... Uh, okay. 20 minutes to 7 p.m. And we can actually climb up here, see? But before we do that, we need one more mushroom. And then, uh, I think we should save, because we could actually fall down here and that would be a bitch. Instant death for anyone.
And there's a cave. Good boy, my friend. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Don't often get visitors up here. <laughs> Very clever of you to find my hiding place. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm fed up with the old camp. I had trouble with Gomez's folks. That was some time ago. I guess nobody remembers that now. But I'm staying here. There are too many blockheads running about in the old camp for my liking. I hope you could hear, hear that. That was really uh, low. And I don't know, can I open your chest or would you get annoyed? Oh. Yeah, it was right, left, left, right. So we can actually rob him blind and he doesn't say anything. You always have to find the right combination if you want to open a chest. And the better your lockpicking skill is and the higher your dexterity is, the lesser the probability for you breaking uh, the lockpick. So I broke one lockpick here because I'm clumsy. And I don't know shit about picking locks. And if you want to identify a monster over a distance, the bow is very good. So see, those are orc dogs. Damn, they would kill us so badly. Take take the arrow away. Oh no, he dropped it. Why did you do that? Take back your arrow, you don't have that many. So yeah. Don't uh, go near those orc dogs right now. That would be suicide. But we can go in here because I think there's nobody in here now. Jump. Somebody's cooking something. But that cave here is empty. What do we get? A potion and an axe. And 10 ore nuggets. Okay. This cave will become important later in the game. Yeah, although it's been some time since I played the game, I still seem to remember a lot of it. That is an orc rune. Don't go up there right now, because that would be suicide. <laughs> it's like those barriers that I told you about, uh, where you encounter monsters that are too tough for you to... Ooh, that would be it deep fall that are too tough for you to fight so you know you're not supposed to be there right now oh, can I jump would I die oh damn that was close I, I was almost falling down here okay oh I should save just in case I don't do it right Thank you. Thank you. And jump. Yay, made it. Okay, now it's getting really dark. Oh, more rats. Hi, Mr. Red. Only one, please. And off we go. That should suffice. Next. What the fuck, don't you see me? No, wait. Thank you. And the last one. Damn you, I lost the rhythm here. And see, there's a dead gaunt lying. In that cave. 
He has 10 ore and the amulet. It says neck on the back. Gives us 5 protection against weapons. But it didn't seem to have helped him. And we find another wizard axe and some apple and healing herbs. And some bread. Slave bread is like a, it's also a mushroom, but I think it gives you back 15 HP instead of only 6 as a hell mushroom would do. Where is it? Yep, 15. Nice. So, yeah, um, some more mushrooms. Slave bread, hell mushroom. And there are some two more scavengers. No, oh, lots of mushrooms here. That actually is the back entrance to the old camp here. Well, we won't go in here. Hey, I didn't pick up that mushroom. Give me that mushroom. Thank you. Now we will kill those. Uh, wait, after picking up that blueberry. Picking up that blueberry. I hate it if I have to repeat myself. Now we will kill those scavengers. Uh, I should save. Just in case. Mr. Scavenger, are you aware of my presence? Oh, see, there's a lizard in the back. That's terribly strong, it would kill us. At that point. Come on, you want it. Ha! It. Ah, it didn't get me. Easy as pie. Okay, be careful not to annoy the lizard. Just take the surface and go back. I'm not your enemy, you don't see me, everything is fine. What do we have? A pla plate, a beer, orc leaf, and a chest. Okay. And yes, don't go into the forest. Uh, we're too weak right now to go in there. Well, not to go in there, but to survive in there. So if you want to die, go in there. Oh, I like the moon. And see, they did a really nice job with the sky. All the stars and everything. I liked it very much. What the fuck? Oh yeah, camera. Could I please get a look at the sky? That would be awesome. Mm. Okay, so, but I wanted to show you the moon. See, that actually is our moon, as you can see by the, you know, um, markings on it, the dark spots. This is our moon, but this here surely ain't Earth, so how come there's our moon? What do we have here? There are some scavengers and those lizards. It's okay to kill the scavengers, it would be suicide to attack the lizards. Follow me into the trench. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work. It doesn't open my inventory and then I cannot, of course, take the stuff that I want. No! Whew, that was actually close. Uh, I'm going to go away here. That place ain't safe. Rather kill those scavengers here. Mr. Scavenger? Are you aware of my presence? No, you are. I'm not followed, no. Everything is fine. 
That was your third scream. You should attack me now. Oh, you're not supposed to hit me. But see, I can handle scavengers quite well now. With the better axe. So equipment really does matter here. And of course, you know, <laughs> some fighting skill. <laughs> that hit here was unnecessary, but okay. Uh, but we still should ignore those flies um, because um, we would, without armor, they would kill us uh, in two attacks. I, pro I think still we have 64 HP. That's not enough. First, we should get some armor or some more levels. Uh, there are some guys living out here. It's not the safest place, actually. Actually, but okay. And they don't mind if you take their spoon or their tumbler. Or even their food, that's okay. But if you would, um, you know, they stand up, but they don't do anything. You would open their chest, they would attack you. What are you doing out here? I want to be left in peace, so get lost. Okay, are you too friendly too? Why are you here and not in the camp? I'm waiting for a friend to return from the mine. He owes me some ore. I can't turn up in the camp without the ore. I couldn't pay the protection money for the guards, and then things would get real heavy for me. Okay. So now we've made our way around the old camp. We are on level 2. Okay. I have 20 skill points, very nice. I could go back and try to learn some hunting skills, but don't have enough gold um, or to get it. So I will now go into the old camp, but I will do that in the next video. So, this is a good place to call it a day, I think. Well, thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day. Bye.